What's poppin' YouTube, man? What's going on with it, man? It's your boy Cash Carter GTG checking in, man. Today we gotta get on this shit, man. What's up with your boy Wiz, man? What's up with your boy Wiz the Wizard, man? Like, I've been hearing all different types of things from the streets, like saying like Wiz the Wizard was really was really seeing that it was a way to slime Kodak Black out, and that's why he did what he did. Kodak Black was going through all type of controversy. And Wiz the Wiz, Wiz the Wizard really wanted recollection off of that. And that's why Kodak Black said he had to go first. And that's why he had to get done the dirtiest. You feel me? Like, because simple fact, like, when you first start seeing Kodak, you saw Wiz the Wizard. Some of his best songs, he's, he's shouting out Wiz the Wizard. So for Wiz to do that, and Wiz is somebody he knew from a teenager. Somebody he knew when he was 15, you feel me? But Wiz to do that, that was extra extra hurtful to Kodak. He was the one that was supposed to be right by his side. You know, kind of his grim reaper in the shadow, you feel me? But he stepped out of his place. And he wasn't that good of an artist to even do that. He only had one good song that I heard personally. Maybe two. You feel me? Songs that are, you know, considered big, big songs. You feel me? So, it wasn't like he had a, a a real big rap career or future rap career even going. You know, he was looking for clout. And when you're doing that, while somebody already dealing with people who are already having the clout, you feel me? Jack Boy. You feel me? Like, all the other people that Kodak Black is beefing with or don't like Kodak Black because that's a huge list. You know Kodak Black have offended many people over the, over the years. So why y'all feel it strange that Kodak Black had to make an example out of him? Why do y'all feel it strange that Wiz the Wizard was beefing with African Americans and was killed in a Haitian type way? Why is the ops that Wham was naming like niggas who fuck with Kodak. Why is Jack Boy still unapologetic? Why don't Jack Boy want to let it go? What is Jack Boy really on? Because it seemed like Jack Boy was the one who wasn't with all this foolishness. So he should be the first one to be like, all right, cool. What is what it is? Or I ain't about this. I ain't about that. He has said nothing but giggles and laughs. You feel me? You you can look at it wherever interview you want to look at. In the interview when he was on the radio station talking to that lady, he just giggled. He didn't answer nothing. He let that shit go right past. You feel me? Cause he don't want to be. He don't want to come out fake. Cause he know what he's thinking in his head. You feel me? Y'all gotta y'all gotta chill out, bro. Of course, call that back gonna say what he want to say. You feel me? They already try to play call that back on some police stuff when he got into it with Fulio and he told Fulio like, hey, bro. I'm bigger than all of this. I'm bigger than all of y'all. You coming at me whole time. You about to get triple crossed. Somebody was putting a hundred thousand on your head to take you out, and that's well known. They were saying, Fulio said Kodak Black was a snitch. What's he's that is kind of snitchy. You telling somebody else like, hey, this nigga that I hang with got money on your head, boy. Like that's kind of snitching. You feel me? Like even if you've kind of fallen out with that nigga, that's a. Hey, oh, you don't like him no more? Well, shit, a. Hey. Bro, I got money on your head, too. What you talking about? You trying to stir and shift the whole pot of, like, all of his fraud and fuckery. You feel me? Which it is, but at the same time, y'all got to go by the same rules that y'all give everybody else, bro. That's not something that you would do. Especially through a text message, something a nigga like a cockroach mosquito like Fulio can keep and save her own to. You feel me? I don't think y'all hear me. I need y'all like, check, and subscribe, man. We about to get into this, man. We about to. I'm about to. I'm about to put something on y'all head. You made it this far. I'm about to put something on your head. Dig this. Julio come up to Kodak Black Hood to do the video shoot with um, with um, where's the wizard? Where's the wizard found it? Not his most most recent community, but you know where he grew up. He grew up at. You feel me? Call that black sent that message like, hey, boy, you going to come to my home? I'm going to send you back to exactly where you came from. That had to be a man who knew him. I said in the beginning of the video that Kodak Black 
New Jet from 15. He knew him from 15. Louis, he be kicking those. They call that boy a wizard. Come on now. Like, this is this. That's one of the beginning songs. That's the song that. That made me feel like Carter oh, Black is, is is legendary now and on that level now. You feel me? Like with the other big dogs in the industry. So come on now. Let's let's not act like none of this is has already been seen and portrayed. Cause I'm about to tell you how it's about to end. Carter oh, Black already know he got the money on his head. There's money on his head. So he's gonna go to the retreat. So let the shit die down. Get back to sliding. It is chestnut checkers. Come on, man. Check it out, man.